Hi guys, so today we're in St. Peter's Church or Kilscoran Church and Graveyard and it's just outside the village of Tagote, quite near Rossler Harbour it was built around 1815 to 1818 and there are four commonwealth burials here from the war around 1914 to 1918 when their bodies were washed up into Rosslare shores and they were buried here. So what we'll do is we'll take a, a walk around first and see if we can find the graves. And here we have James Whitehead and James died July 1913. His wife Mary Jane died May, I think that's 1920. His two children, Deirdre and Susan died in infancy. Also their daughter Sarah who died in 1969. George Whitehead, 1963. Benjamin Whitehead, 1987, I think it is, and Eileen, who died in 1979. And we have Susan, wife of the late George, July 1984, I think it is on that. And here we have in loving memory of Elsie. Beloved child of um is it Hamilton and Dora Kennedy Tusker Lighthouse Dwellings born September the twenty seventh, eighteen ninety three, died August the seventh, eighteen ninety six. So just three so that's Elsie. And it's gorgeous again here in Ireland. But we have a bit of a breeze, so I hope the audio is okay. We have Christina McCaffrey here, Rasslair. I think that's 1973. And look at this little one. Let me see if we can read this. And it's Ethel, I think it is. Holbrook, maybe. Who fell asleep. And that is... Hmm. That's hard to read there. But it looks like... Maybe 18... So I just got my torch and it's Ethel Holbrook who fell asleep in Jesus March the 25th 1879 I think it is age one year and ten months. Not come from memory. Sorry, not gone from memory, not gone from love, but gone to her Saviour. Saviour's arms above. Oh, so that's Ethel. And she was just one and ten months. And such a tiny little grave. And I've just noticed this little one. In loving memory of William Ernest, son of William and Mary Salter. Aged just five years and died in 1906. 
tree. So this tiny little headstone for William. And here we have Elizabeth, Harvey, Betty, Boxwell. And there's the Boxwells again. And we've met them several times now in different graveyards. Born the 13th of June 1945, died September 59. And Mary Patricia Boxwell died 1946. Sorry, born in 1946, died in 1947. Also their parents who died in Australia. Harvey Boxwell, 1990 to 2002. And Pearl Boxwell, born August 1911, died November 2011. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. And here we have Emily Reed who died April the 24th, 1939, her husband Richard, who died 1959, and his second wife, Olga, who died September the 27th, 1989. So quite unusual. Richard has two wives, his first and second wife, buried here with him. And this church today at least is closed but we'll have a look over here it's not as well maintained there's no headstone or marker in there and here we have Henry Irvine Esquire of Mervyn Ross Lair, who died October 1891 and as Elizabeth his wife is there as well and she died April 1898 Elizabeth was 88 and Henry was 89 So here lieth the body of Annette Fletcher of Rosslare, who departed this life on the 27th of October 1858, age 75, and also her beloved husband Thomas Fletcher, who departed this life on the 13th of May 1859, age 72. And we have two headstones here. And there's something on the back of it, actually. Is it a T and an E? It's definitely E, a T and an E. But I can't see anything on that one. Nor on that. And this is Church of Ireland and the cemetery. We have a, a tomb here. Erected in memory of Dennis Keenan, I think it is, July the 22nd, 1851, age 70, and his wife Elizabeth, 1856, age 62. Together here also are the remains of John 
September the 22nd, 1849, and his wife Catherine. 1842, I think it is there. And look at this, guys. And inside we have two tombs. But unfortunately, there's no writing at all legible on it. Which is a pity. You can see this was obviously the gate and at some stage somebody tied it up. It was totally overgrown and time has eroded any letters at all on it. Just look at that. So here we have Henry Fuller Sandwich Late Captain forty six I think that's regiment maybe born October the seventeenth, eighteen twenty, died November the fifth, eighteen eighty six. We have these three headstones together. Aged 44 years, November 1895 it looks there. Mm. And this one has actually split in half but there is an 1820 there and possibly Catherine maybe but it's, it's very hard to see there and as you can see this part of the graveyard is completely overgrown so I don't know whether there's anything out further I do see a marker there and one possibly there as well. And we've lots of nettles and thistles there so I'm not even going to try make my way in. Let's have a look at this. And this is Samuel. Raymond Sutton. There's October there and I think it's 1899 aged. No, it's not five years. There's definitely something missing there, so maybe 65 years. And it would have been <laughs> quite beautiful. Years ago, there's a little book there on a scroll. And there's this one. But I can't read anything on that either. I think those are little lead lettering and of course over time they just fall off it I suppose. And this is John Wise Whitfield who departed this life, actually his esquire I think as well here 
who departed this life at his own house August 1861 age 65 and also his wife is it Jusant maybe? And she died in 1876, age 79, and also their second daughter, Eleanor, who departed this life, 1894, age 69. Here lies the remains of Henry Lloyd, I think it is, 18, 1855. We have another railing here. So here we have, um, I think it's Helen, 1879 possibly, and of A.J. H. Meadows, Major, 5th Victorian Rifles, died 21st of January, I think that's 1913, aged 59. And Oh, um, just come around here, just look at this. And we still have this rail around it with a little gate and a lock. Isn't that brilliant? So that's AJ Meadows. Major. Wow. This is John Lloyd, who died 1853, age 75, and Mary, otherwise Howlin, his wife, who died on the 27th of August, 1823. That looks like aged 31 there. So, unfortunately, a lot of these headstones are very hard to read but were quite magnificent all those years ago sacred to the memory of Eliza daughter of Robert and Sarah Green who was drowned returning from Wexford to Rosslair Fort, March the 17th, 1835, aged just four years. And down the bottom here it says, This lovely bud, so young, so fair, called hence by sudden doom, just came to show how sweet a flower in paradise would bloom. And that's for Eliza. And here we have to the memory of James Harmer, who was drowned with three of his children returning from Wexford to Rosslare, March the 17th, 1835, aged 46. So James was also drowned along with Eliza, the headstone we just read, in the same accident. The Rosslare Coast Guard boat left Wexford Keys, heading home to the Rosslare Fort after spending the day at the markets on Wexford Keys at approximately 3.30 on the 17th of March 1835. 
The journey was a five mile rowing trip taking less than an hour. Five adults and seven children on board, the youngest no more than a toddler. At about 4 p.m. it's reported to blow a perfect hurricane. By the time help arrived to them, there was no sign of any occupants. Seven children and five adults lost their lives that day. And we have here just a simple marker with the initials EG. And I think that's Eliza. And maybe a, a more recent headstone was placed. And that was just her original marker, possibly. But there's three, two, and this is the third headstone connected to the same drowning accident. And this is James Jupp. And it's the same drowned with one son returning from Wexford to Rosslare Fort, March 17th, 1835. And James was 33. And this is another marker here. And my shadow was in the way, but I think it's RH. And I think that's B, BH. And the sun is not helping now, of course. Let's see if I can read this one. And just after I read the initials and that marker, this beautiful butterfly landed. And once again, it's definitely a sign, a spiritual sign. So the sun is making it difficult to read the headstone, so I'm going to stand in front of it. So this is to the memory of Thomas Hooper of Barnstrap, Barnstaple maybe, in the county of Devon. And it looks like it says Commander Boatman in HM Coast Guard at Rosslare Fort who was drowned with two sons returning from Wexford to the fort March 17th 1835 Age 39 years, Benjamin then, aged just 15, and John aged just 11. Also, Richard, who died May 20th, 1834, aged 2. And there's no more writing there, so these are all part of the same drowning accident that happened and it's very sad and lots of children there and as I was calling out the headstones the butterfly and actually two butterflies kept coming over and circling around them so maybe it's a little message from above. And here we have four of the Commonwealth War burial graves. And we have G, if you can see that with the light, G, Jeeds maybe, Skipper, HM Drifter, Speedwell, V. 
28th of October 1915, age 45. We have another same name, G Trimmer, RNR 2065TS, HM Drifter Speedwell V, 28th of October 1916, age 18 only. Peace, perfect peace. And on this one, until the day break. And this one is W. Young, Engine Man, RNR 2301ES, HM Drifter Speedwell V, 28th of October 1916 as well. And down behind these then we have W.S. Glover, Chief Officer, S.S. Masaba, the 1st of September 1916, age 39. And I'm sorry now, the sun is not helping there. So those are the graves I was talking about at the start of the video and how their bodies washed ashore into Ross Lair. And here we have a loving memory of, is it Lemuel? John Fernie who died February the 26th, eight, sorry, 19, I think that's 19, or three. Ah, oh, and he was just five. We see some beautiful windows there, lovely designs. Francis here, who departed his life, 1833, August 1833, and I think there's at the house of, wow, so this is Francis Enzer of Manchester, who departed his life on the 19th of August, 1833, at the house of M.J. O'Farrell. At Rossler, age 24. And you'd wonder what happened there. And we've Anne here from the Cumption, who departed this life, I think that's 1918, age 78, and her husband George. And he was 77 when he passed. We've John Merriman, 1952. Some lovely flowers growing there. And we have these two. Memory of Francis. And he died 1868. And there's that name again. I'm going to try and get a bit nearer. So this is in memory. And there's that name, Lemuel Fernie. Died June the 14th, 1943. Hope, Leard, Lurid, Fernie. 
born 17th February 1907, died the 28th of January 1981, daughter of Lemuel and Lila, I think it is Fernie. And then beside that, we have Lila Jane Fernie, died August 15th, 1943. Jack Fernie, died March the 20th, 1979, age 78. Son of Lemuel and Lila Farney. And this one looks like it's been recently painted. And it's for Francis Eleanor Cahill, Rossler Strand, June 1942, age 76. And on that note, guys, I'm going to leave St. Patrick's Church and Graveyard. So for now, take care. God bless, stay safe. And just up here, we have a sundial with 1839 wrote on it and to the God of glory 1818 there so I'll talk to you soon guys